Hey there, my lovely, beautiful Virgos. <laughs> How are you guys? This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. Okay. So if you're new, please do hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you enjoy these readings, be a part of the House of Virgo group chat where you will find lots of support and healing and friendship. I encourage you all to join in on the chat. Um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe, as I said. And if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. All right. Virgo, let's see what's going on in your love life. November, Virgo's love life. November, Virgo's sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Welcome, everybody. Hello to all the mods and all the returning chat, House of Virgo chat members. <laughs> and thank you to um, those of you who made a super chat yesterday. I saw that later, so I'm very grateful for that. All right, you guys, let's take a look and see. Okay, seven of wands. Remember, this is a love reading, so please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just stick with fits. Um, and if it's not resonating, that's okay. Just hang out in the chat. Talk to everybody. Make some friends. Let me see here. Okay. Look at this. Here you are, Virgo, showing up in the scent at, as the under... The overall theme for the reading is you. It's all about you right now, Virgo, okay? In your abundance, making your money, your career, filling your cabinets with delicious foods, <laughs> stocking up, saving. You're like, some of you Virgos are like gathering up your nuts <laughs> like a squirrel and storing them. You're in preparation. Some of you are in preparation. Um... This could be preparing. This could be, it's like a very fertile time for you, Virgo. You're stocking up on things, maybe holiday gifts. You're getting ready for the holidays. You're making your list and checking it twice. You're organizing, you're planning um, for something. If it's not the holidays, it's just for something in your life at this time. I feel like you're just kind of looking down at everything that you've got here. Um, being well balanced, making things right in your life, which is totally cool, totally awesome. Um, we have Libra and Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, hmm. I feel like you are really focusing on home, family, celebrations, the holidays right now. If you're not, you will be in the month of November, and it feels like a very joyous time with others. But I also feel like you're going to be getting a surprise message from someone um, who wants to try to make something right with you here. This person, I, I mean, you might feel indifferent to this. I'm not sure if this is your energy or theirs, but I feel like I'm just hearing like, can we try this again? Can we try this again? There's been conflict in some kind of a relationship or a family situation. I'm just getting this energy that there's just this one more, there's another shot coming here, a new beginning, the Ace of Swords, clarity, some truth, overcoming obstacles. Um, somebody is working very hard very very hard to try to see the truth to try to have some kind of like wake up call to come out in the open i feel like whomever this person is okay we also have gemini and scorpio um there's something to do with a heartbreak or maybe they're they were choosing others over you or just too much in party mode all the time and it just kind of gives me a sense like this person was not it feels like realizing that they were hurting you. And I feel it's kind of similar to yesterday's energy where somebody was not aware of something. And I feel like for some reason, they're aware and they want to try to reunite with you, maybe even um, 
try to build something with you. It gives me a sense that they feel very left out in the cold. Um, I feel like this person ran away and has spent, if you haven't been communicating with them, has spent a lot of time withdrawn and reflecting on the burdens that they brought to you in your life. Okay, Vir uh, Virgo. So you look to me like you're getting yourself organized and stable for the upcoming month of November. Like I said, you, some of you are just checking your list, uh, writing your list and checking it twice. <laughs> Maybe you have children and you know, you're know you gathering gifts, um, preparing. I just feel an energy of like preparing for the holidays of some sort, some type of holiday thing. All right, let's take a look at the love messages here. Okay, there's deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in the relationship. Stay optimistic about your love life and express your love. Oh gosh, Virgo. It's interesting because you have the sun and the moon here. The moon is at the center of the reading, which tells me this is a very emotional time. There's an there's a deep emotions being felt by someone here. So there's Leo, there's Pisces energy so far on the table and the other signs that I said but if those signs don't resonate for you don't worry about it okay um, there's somebody here who is really guarded they're holding back right they, they definitely have this energy of like making this decision okay Virgo oh my gosh there's somebody that you this person has been wearing a false mask in a relationship or they wear it all the time. They always have some type of um, mask that they wear. They don't want people to see them for who they truly are. This person may not even know who they truly are deep inside. And I feel like they present it to you or they present to you as someone who is, you know, they got it all together. They have like, they. I feel like they've created this false identity because this person is very insecure or they don't feel like they will be appreciated for who they truly are. But I also feel like this person is not even sure who that is. Okay, I do. And I see this person currently in this decision mode right now of whether to keep being defensive with that false mask and not letting anybody in or not letting you in it's that or opening up with the sun fully exposing themselves the sun is about exposure coming out into the light so this person right here <laughs> at this time is they have a decision to make okay the two of swords a choice do they take that risk and open up and show you who they are, even if they're not even sure who they are inside, and take the risk of having you say no to them or no, that's not good enough, okay? Um, that's how they feel. Even if they do know who they are, they may not feel at this time in their life that they're worthy of you. And yet... It feels to me like they're actually getting, for the first time perhaps in their lives, that they're going to try to attempt to remove this mask and reveal everything to you. Okay. Let me take a look at the sun here. Oh gosh. Knight of Cups. So here's their dilemma. Do they keep pretending that they don't love you or keep pretending that they don't need you or that they're not interested? And they keep pushing you away, pushing, pushing you away, blocking you, staying in that defensive energy? Or do they actually open up and express their love to you? They're in a dilemma right now. They're on that, seat, on, they're on that seesaw. 
Do I do it or do I not? Yes or no? Yes or no? Should I stay or should I go? Okay. So there's a real struggle for this person. They have a great fear. Let's take a look. Why, why this blocking energy? Why this defensive shield armor? Heavy, thick shield and armor around the chest area, around the heart. Aha. There you go. Ten of Swords. Deep, deep fear of betrayal and abandonment. <laughs> deep fear of bottoming out. And that's why they block. Deep fear of being rejected. Deep fear of being hurt or you hurting them. I don't know that it's anything, maybe there, so this person, it could be specific to a relationship with someone that you are in where um, something gave them the impression that if they opened up, you would hurt them, or this is just how they came into this relationship, already broke, busted, and disgusted, not even loving themselves, not even liking themselves and needing to wear this false mask to pretend. Why are they making this decision right now? Two of Swords. Why are they in this place? Hmm. For you, the Empress. Because you're everything. You are everything to this person, Virgo. Beautiful, handsome, well-adjusted, goddess, god-like energy, not in any egotistical way, just glamorous, beautiful, or they had somebody in their life who, oh, they just told me this person's mother had a huge effect on them, huge psychological influence in a negative way. There's a fear of letting go of their mother if you're female listening or the divine feminine there's a fear of letting go of a mother to come towards you that's a very specific message for somebody um but mostly the decision is based on because you're worth it that's how i feel this person i feel like this person rejected and blocked all the time or they betrayed others all the time because they had a huge fear of opening up of revealing themselves okay there's Libra and Taurus energy as well so they've walked through life with this false mask with this deceptive mask pretending to be someone that they weren't or something that they aren't it's kind of sad it feels kind of sad hmm and I feel like this person is like, do I take this risk? They're in this place of like thinking about it now, deeply reflecting. And I think I said that in the beginning, taking time out and deeply reflecting. Hmm. There's a lot of hurt and sorrow right now with this person. Remorse and regret and sadness. Something must have happened between you and someone. And... Either they feel like they're losing you or they already have because they just could not. You saw the mask. You saw beyond the veil, Virgo. You, you saw it. And what you saw was this person pushing you away. That's when the, when the veil was removed, what you saw was them pushing you away. But even further deep beneath that you saw this hurt person that you love and that you wanted to take under your wing and, and nurture because that's virgo energy you nurture you you are like the nurse of the zodiac or the doctor of the zodiac you know um you like to pamper you like to have fluffy cushions and tuck this tuck people in at night like your children like you you just have this um you're very caring you know you make sure they have chicken soup when they're sick you know you make sure they have their medicine make sure they have their favorite foods and and then you're a caretaker you're you're 
you're very service oriented virgo you know you're a good soul virgo and this person sees that they saw that but their own fear of abandonment and rejection is what kept this connection from moving forward is what kept you apart it's what caused a split that kind of energy right and at the same time virgo you still love this person of course of course why wouldn't you but you also love yourself and you also know that you can't make someone love you i can't make you love me if you don't right and i don't feel like this person doesn't love you i just feel like they had a fear that this person was in conflict between love and fear that's a battle that you could not win against you showed up the way you showed up and you did the best you could okay so here they are in this like oh what do i do do i open up because they there's this feeling of loss here now it's done it's it's done you've walked away virgo a lot of you had just said that's it i can't do anything else i've this the i've reached the end of the line here there's nothing else i can do and and your absence perhaps a lot of you just walked away and i don't feel like you did anything to hurt somebody i don't feel like you were intentionally trying to cause revenge or anything along those lines i just feel like you surrendered a lot of you just surrendered and just kind of said a prayer in your heart that they get that healing right and look spirit comes down now spirit has come down spirit is coming down in november with this ace of cups this new emotional like this is not coming from you or any other person this is grace this is a blessing this is higher power saying to this person infusing love into them healing the ace of cups is a healing this is forgiveness this is with the wafer on here this is like communion this is person is taking the spiritual blessing and healing and love into their life i feel like there's like an opening up here this person loves you very much virgo and they want to be by your side and they want to do right but they've got this struggle that they have to go through so here's the moon <laughs> So this person is again like i said this battle look you see how we have a dog domesticated domesticated animal here and then we have the wolf which is wild this person is walking down this path and their wild side and their domesticate this is what they fought be wild and free and not have to own up to anything or anyone or be responsible in any way it's just all instinct and then the other side is like become a part of society <laughs> domesticate themselves this person's struggle look at the lobster coming out of the water what did my friend lucy say the lobster when someone calls you your lobster that's your soul mate this is what the this is what the energy is here this is like the lobster is like your person. This person wants to, is trying to become, they know this per. listen, Virgo, this person knows, they're aware that you're meant for each other, but they had that struggle walking through the shadow of the valley of death right here between the lies and reality and the, the deception and, and, and seeking clarity coming up out of the water walking between these two pillars passing this threshold there's it's a threshold that they were they were afraid to pass but the knight of swords is here this person is they get some grace of some sort like a it's kind of like when a blessing happens that you didn't ask for it's kind of like you're walking down the street And all of a sudden a piano falls from the sky or from like the top floor and as you're walking it lands right behind you like it 
that's grace. This person having grace, being saved, spirit coming in and making things happen and making change happen and and ca causing this person to actually walk the path, not just sit with the two of swords and think about it. And that is how they're starting out, but to actually start walking through those emotions, through the fear, which is the moon. It's a card of fear, how they've been deceiving themselves. Really like, this is like a spiritual awakening for this person, much needed. And the Knight of Swords energy is just like coming down and pushing this person to go. They're getting all these spiritual downloads and it's causing them to be more optimistic it's infusing them. It's like this person took 20,000 Prozac and all of a sudden they feel better and they're like, yes, and they're becoming more optimistic and more positive and they're getting some kind of healing. I don't know if you've been praying for this person. I'm not going to put a card on the Ace of Cups because I feel like that is such a special message. We don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth and just leave it. But I want to know, why is the moon here? Okay. All right, part of this energy with this person is they were quite passive with you. In other words, they purposefully gave you mixed messages that they were purposefully passive. This person wanted to be with you, okay? And they... they they may have opened up in false ways by telling you that they loved you and they want to be with you. And then they may have been pushing you away, but it's all been deception. Okay. It's all been deception. They've been deceiving themselves. So if you feel like you were being deceived, they were really just deceiving themselves and you were feeling that as well. Right. But they deceive themselves first before they deceive everybody else. That's how that works. And part of this learning that's happening here with this person is that they are needing to rest their fears, calm their fears with the Four of Swords on the moon, rest, put their fears to rest and go forth, charge forth in the direction they know they're meant to go. No matter how much Virgo, you may have led this person or you may have told them. I feel like you've done all that you can do, really. A lot of you have just like raising those white flags and saying, I surrender. Let God work on this person. Let higher power do whatever needs to be done. And you're just, I know, stocking your, getting your turkey ready for Thanksgiving. You're just like living your life and being happy. I mean, as happy as you possibly can be, you know, because I know some of you have a heartbreak. You love this person. So, okay, I feel like this person is not willing to let you go. They want that long-term thing with you, long-term security, whatever it might be. They're holding fast to you and they don't want to let you go. They don't want you to go. And they're going to come in with an offer. Definitely. There's going to be some type of communication, as we saw in the Ace of Swords, where they want to express how they feel about you. And I'm not just talking um, little teeny tiny things. I'm talking somehow they're going to open up and express how they truly feel like the depth of their love for you and not only that but why they love you and what they love about you it's like a solid offer this person might actually even be bringing you a gift there's travel you might be seeing this person sometime around the holidays i have two marriage cards here okay now they are going to come in and propose a higher level of commitment with you virgo as they pass through and deal with their fears here, okay? Coming in with this person is very physically attracted to you, Virgo. I mean, lust off the charts here. This person is like, 
they want to be in bed with you they want to be naked with you they want to express their love they just want to lay there with you and just wake up in the morning and not get out of bed till real late and have tea together or coffee or and then just get back in bed and just all this love and physical passion beautiful awesome amazing kisses and cuddles and everything pleasing and pleasure you know all of that energy because you two seem to be very compatible in that area very like that part a lot of you are missing that part because somebody was giving it really good <laughs> somebody gave it really good but there's more to it and this person they may have shown you that side of themselves that lusty side but they couldn't open up the deep inner workings of their heart and they're in too much fear way too much fear connected to this um, their feelings so the way they connected with you for a lot of you may have just been by way of pleasure physical intimacy and physical pleasure so they're coming in with the page of cups there's communicate see i'm telling you this is a new love start with you and somebody here and virgo i gotta tell you you're gonna be surprised you're gonna be sitting there looking at your grocery list looking to see you need to get the cranberries you need to get the the beans and the turkey and you need to get everything and checking your list and you know marking your calendar and setting up the the you know dinner or the party or you're going to some party or something going on you're organizing and it's just going to come out of the blue you're not even going to expect this some type of communication from them um and it's going to start with this person making a romantic gesture that they want to come see you they want to spend some time with you they want to talk to you not just this is action these two cards these nights physical both physical cards so you guys i feel like you're gonna probably meet up somewhere for some of you it might be um okay for some of you i've just heard school i don't know at a school at a family reunion or a wedding or uh, a home somebody's home family home oh my goodness you get the lovers underneath here see a decision you're both going to make a decision here to be together this is what i feel yep look at this new opportunity the opportunity a new beginning a new start a new potential for you guys to get this right this time it's twin flame energy as well the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces with the karma judgment wake up call this person you know whether they're a water sign or whomever they are I called out plenty of signs you know your person is opening up from the depth of their emotions and their feelings because they feel a sense of loss with the five of cups regret remorse and this is actually pushing them to do something about this some of you just left you ended it or you just maybe you didn't even give closure maybe you just left you just walked away because you just trusted your instinct your intuition you just knew that there was nothing more you could do yeah, i'm sure i don't i'm not so sure there's some of you maybe you left kicking your heels with joy because you finally got out of it and then others of you left in a very solemn way a sense of sadness perhaps but whatever this person maybe didn't leave maybe you are still there but you're just no longer initiating or investing in the connection and they're feeling some they're feeling it they lost the best thing they feel that they could ever possibly have the best person and maybe they've had plenty of people or there's plenty of options but just something about you virgo that was very special very special let's see what the hidden truth messages are here i love this reading you guys it's so spiritual let's see here the 
What is the hidden truth about this person? What is the hidden truth about Virgo's person? You are the best thing in my life. I told you, Virgo, my cards don't lie. And if it hasn't happened for you, it's just because it's not your message. Don't blame me. <laughs> you are the best thing in my life. And they know it. And I don't feel like anybody ever came as close to them or that they ever let anyone as close to them as they did you. And now they're kicking themselves. It feels like they're kicking themselves. And you might be too. Some of you might feel a little sense of guilt that maybe there was more you could have done. I don't feel like you need to go down that path. I feel like you need to reassure yourself that you've done the best you could. See, this person regrets lying to you. And what was the lie? That they weren't interested and that they didn't love you enough or that they weren't in love with you. They, they regret lying with this false mask or deceiving you, pretending to be something that they weren't. They should have just been authentic and in person and real with you and took that risk to just be who they are. But I feel like there's a struggle. They don't really know who they are or they're not sure they're even worthy of you. Because they're coming in as either a king or a queen, and but they're viewing you as an emperor or an empress. And this person's just kind of like, how in the world or why in the hell would Virgo be interested in me? And this person just, they don't know Virgo very well. When Virgo loves, Virgo loves hard and deep and is loyal. And there is nothing that Virgo sees in someone that can't be improved or better in a relationship. Virgo will go to the ends of the earth to find their one true soulmate. And if that means that they got to leave someone they thought was with them and they find out it's not, Virgo will keep on that journey. Virgo's always in search for the perfect love. <laughs> the perfect love. The romance, the fairy tale. They know, Virgos, you guys just know that there's somebody out there for you and you just keep going. <laughs> I feel you leaving me behind. See, Virgo? They feel it. Oh, they're feeling it. I don't know if you've left them before. Maybe they didn't take it seriously, but something about this leaving you behind, leaving them behind feels a lot different to this person. For some reason, I don't know why. Could have a lot to do with timing. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yep. I replay our conversations over and over. So the last conversation that you had with this person, whether it was an argument or whatever it was, I don't feel like this person really understood. I feel like they go back and reread things that you've written to them, text messages, what have you. To, to try to really get a handle because I feel them feeling empty because there's no presence together at this time. And I feel like in November, they feel that absence and they don't understand why. They don't understand what happened. They don't understand why you were gone. They just, or why you kick them out or why you left or whatever you did they weren't getting it and it feels like now like they're going back and rereading things or thinking about things that were said and things that you said to them and it's starting to click it's like oh i didn't realize then you when you were keying up my car it was because you truly loved me. See, this person just thought maybe you're being mean or when you said the certain things to them that you were just a mean person but see, they don't understand that when Virgo is still engaging with someone, either in love or war, it's just they're still engaging, and that's a good sign. When Virgo stops engaging altogether, that's the warning. Virgo, when Virgo is just like, I'm not, it's not even worth it for me to fight anymore. When Virgo goes silent, when Virgo's walking away, when a person tries to engage conversation with you or argument or anything and you're just like indifferent to it. 
it means you're done. You've moved on. It's just a little too late. All right, messages of love. Spiritual lesson, okay? This person is absolutely learning a spiritual lesson here. I told you that. There's some type of... Uh, they're either having a profound spiritual experience or a profound spiritual awakening. And I think it's a little bit of both. They're experiencing something right now and it's waking them up. Healing. There's healing happening here. Old wounds and even childhood issues are being revisited. For some of you, like I said, this person came in this way. They already had their trauma or something that happened long before you. Maybe at primary, elementary or something happened to them. And they form this identity or they melded themselves into, they created some kind of character for themselves that would help them better cope with life. Or they were just wound up living in this virtual metaverse world. It wasn't reality for some. Okay. Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. See, I feel like this person... Hmm. That's a really weird message. I feel like when this, I feel like this person is kind of seeing here that they played some pretty hard games. Like when this person, I don't know how to explain it. This might be specific to some of you. Like when this person would play, if it's um, someone who played a sport, it wasn't ever just for fun. <laughs> it was always to win. Or whatever they did, anything extracurricular, it was always to be the best or to win, or to be number one. And even in the relationship, I feel like they had to win. And, and what does it get them? <laughs> Alienated is how I feel. But I also feel like this person is coming to terms with that and instead of playing so hard here, is now in this place of, you know what? I just wanna laugh with Virgo. I just wanna goof off. I just wanna enjoy my time with Virgo, the happy, happy times. Cause I feel like you guys have had some pretty funny, happy moments together. That's what they're thinking about. They're romanticizing those happy moments. Okay, financial challenges. So I feel like this person struggles financially or brought financial challenges into your relationship. This is huge for this person. If they didn't wanna be dependent on you financially or didn't want you to see them financially dependent on others or someone else. So this feels like it plays a role in this connection. But there's chemistry here. Very, very strong chemistry between the two of you. It cannot be denied. The chemistry is the answer to when you ask the question, why can I not stop thinking about this person? I know you guys ask that. I know you guys are like, I'm done with this relationship, but in the middle of the night, you find yourself thinking about them in your private moments, okay? And the reason why is because of the chemistry, the pull, the, it's magnetic, it's what you guys had together. See, there was a soul tie that was created between the two of you, through any kind of physical intimacy, that is it's the hardest thing to break. You hear of people breaking up in relationships, the last thing to go is the physical part. Once that, once, once Virgo is no longer touching and feeling that person, the skin, the, the, the magnetic chemistry between the two side by side, that the thing that gets created between the two of you, once that's gone, it's like, pew, the flame goes out, right? And I feel like a lot of you can't stop thinking about that flame. That's what's holding you. That's what's, And it's hard. And that takes time, Virgo. If you are completely done with this relationship and you're just moving on, 
be patient with yourself. You got to get time and distance in between so that that flame boils down to a spark and then that spark goes completely out. Um, will it fully ever go completely out? No, it might blip out and then relight again at times. Sometimes it'll go out a lot quicker if you have somebody else in your life, but trust me, that spark, that flame dies down in its own time. And I don't feel like the flame has died down for this person. They still feel that chemistry. There's just something about you, Virgo. They feel like you're just so uniquely special and you're so sexy and you're so handsome and gorgeous and beautiful and you know like this person could just watch you eat i just heard when you sleep they watch you sleeping and they just are in awe of you they or they were they've been in awe of you they still are they're feeling such a deep hole in their heart okay let's see what your other messages are here Okay, I'm not taking these cards. I just don't want them. Okay, message from an admirer. So you are going to get communication from this person. Okay, they're coming in. And they will tell you how much they admire you. Um, there may even be an apology too. It may, yeah, not may. It's going to start off with an apology. But expressing their love, I'm, I'm sorry I hurt you. So what I what I feel, I love you so much and I don't want to lose you ever again. And I'm so sorry. And I need, I need, I need you naked in my bed. <laughs> I need to feel your body next to mine. That's what I feel like this person. And you want that too, Virgo. <laughs> Now listen, some of you, I know, you're like, who the hell are you talking about? Let me just preface. I feel like this is specific to some to somebody here, okay? So if, if those of you who are like, I don't have anybody, there's nobody new coming in, there's nobody from the past, uh, it doesn't mean that, this, that your past person isn't going to try to come in. When you say there's nobody from your past, you're basically, the message I'm getting is that you have never been with another person in your entire life. Therefore, your past is a completely white, black canvas. That's what you're telling me. Because the way I feel is that if you've had someone in your past, okay, um, this past person, it, that this is what the energy is, okay, with this past person. Now, if you if you oops if you've completely walked away from this relationship, like you're done, okay, that's fine. Then just be done and hang out for the chat and just chit chat. But there are some people here who are not finished, and they want that healing. So you need to endure and be patient at this time, Virgo. That's what you're being asked to do here. If you are going to hold out, you have your vision and, sorry, if you're gonna hold your vision and hold out for this person, you're gonna be asked to be patient. If you don't have the patience, you, you don't have anything left within you, then, you know, keep it moving. You think this person's just nothing but a shit stain and you're out of here, then be out of here. Nobody's telling you what to do. Okay, you've got a deeply loving male here, okay? For some of you, this is you. The depth of your emotions. Maybe you have water somewhere in your chart. For some of you, this is your person. They have water somewhere in their chart. They wear their heart on their sleeve, or they will be if they haven't before. Usually the, the deeply loving male can be, again, for some, the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They're very, they have a depth. Cancer, cancer signs are more surface water right because they're on land and they're also in the water they're in the shallow um, but cancers have really soft they have deep softness within them but they're also their pinchers are huge their claws and when they grab onto someone they don't let go right 
Now, Pisces is the deepest of them all. Pisces is like the water, the deepest down there with the ships and the broken boats and the fish carcasses. The Pisces is in dreamland. That's Pisces. No reality at all in Pisces world. <laughs> it's all dreamland. And Scorpio, Scorpio is in the water, but Scorpio maintains mostly in the dark parts of the water. Okay. Wherever it's darkest, that's where Scorpio resides. Not in the light of the water. All right, let me see. Okay, there's a financial decision being made here. Okay, I told you, some of you, this person, this person may... For some, I just heard this person, you and they split up because they were having a financial struggle and they didn't want, like I said, they didn't want you to see them like this or know that they were having these problems. I feel like they've they've sorted stuff out. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of you were like, well, I'm not waiting for this person to sort out their financial issues. You're moving on. And I don't think this person thought that you would actually leave them either. I thought maybe you would wait, but maybe they didn't ask you to wait. Um, the financial stuff gets sorted out. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, boredom. Virgo, you definitely got bored. <laughs> you just became bored. You got tired of waiting for some of you. Just waiting for this person to come in with the love offer. And just nothing was happening. This boredom is indifference, disinterest. And that's kind of what I feel like um, the message here they were giving me was that at some point... You stopped fighting with this person. You stopped arguing. You stopped loving. You just became indifferent. And they're feeling that. They're feeling that. Not that they are a boring person, but that you got bored with the relationship. Nothing was happening. It's not like you needed entertainment 24-7, but it's just that nothing was happening. It wasn't going anywhere. <coughs> well, now it is. Hey, speed and travel. This person's coming in <coughs> back up on the horse but it, it's more spiritual I feel like this person's having like a huge wake-up call and it's not from anything you did <coughs> I feel like you just left the, the scene of the crime and you just opened the space for this person to come to themselves and that's really probably the only thing you never did do with them this might be the antidote that you needed was to surrender and let go and leave them to themselves to figure things out. All the pleading and begging and I love you. Don't you know how much I love you? Do everything for you. That did not work. Listen, here's the way I say it. Like insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. Whatever you were doing in the past, Virgo, with someone, you got nowhere with it. So that's the message that if you haven't changed it up already, you need to change it up. And that is by not doing anything. Sometimes um, I get asked that question. Well, we're not talking or no, no, what should I do? And I always say, well, why do you feel like you have to do anything? Why do you feel like you have to do something? Why do you, maybe, you know what I mean? Like, why are you asking? Why do you have to do something? You don't, you don't have to do anything. If you feel like you've done everything and you've opened yourself up and you, you spilled the beans and you've done, oh, go, keep it moving. Stop waiting around for someone to come to their senses. That's their journey in their time. And that's in all areas of people's lives. This person's hitting rock bottom. That's why I told you. The one thing they didn't want to do, the one thing that they were fighting back against, because God forbid they're vulnerable to you. Well, guess what? They were preventing rock bottom from happening in their lives by kind of keeping you there, by giving you, maybe deceiving you with their affection and their love, right? Because then they knew you wouldn't leave, but something happened to you, Virgo, and you just were like, no more. I'm not enabling this relationship anymore. Doesn't mean you stop loving them. It's just that you start loving yourself more. And this person's coming to terms and hitting that spot that all the effort you put in in the past 
never accomplished. You did now <laughs> your action of non-action is what's doing the most. And if this person is so stubborn that they can't see this, then this is not for you, Virgo. And you need to click off this reading and go find yourself a brand new lover. You know, you know? Because <laughs> you're going to waste more time, more years on someone who just, if they get light bulbs and marquees, it's like a flashing sign everywhere they go. And they're getting downloads and signs and people are telling them and all, everybody's, you know, in cohesion with everything. And all the fucking signs are there and they still don't see it. Keep it moving, Virgo. Keep it because you are not. If God can't get through, what makes you think you can get through? <laughs> all right. Moonology messages. Excuse my F word. Sorry and not sorry. I once had somebody tell me when you curse, it's because you're angry. And I say no, it's because I'm passionate. Two totally different things. I'm not angry person, I'm just very passionate. And I emphasize, <laughs> I use sentence enhancers. That's all to get off my freaking back. Okay. A win-win outcome is forecast here. Virgo, you're going to get this win. You're going to get what you want. Self-love always wins. Always. Serving, being a doormat, never wins. The answers you need are coming. Okay, Virgo. So if you have full moon in Gemini, that's for you. If you have full moon in Libra, that's also for you. These messages, they're for everybody, but those are specific. <clears throat> Let's see. Hold your vision. That feels to me. Oh, okay. They just gave me a song. Hold on. Um, whatever tomorrow brings, I will be there. It's an incubus song. If I decided to wait, something about holding on to hands. Wait, how does it go? Hands up in the air. I just raise my arms up in the air and I don't care. Holla. <laughs> something about, I, I don't know. What's that song called? Jeez. Drive. Is it called drive? Sometimes I feel the no, you know the song. I don't remember it. Do you know it's crazy? That's my most favorite band in the whole freaking world. And I've been singing that song for 25 years and I can't remember the words. And you know me. I know words to songs, but for some reason, this particular song, they're not giving me. They're just they're just telling me the song. Dr I think it's Drive. I think it's called Drive. I don't know. Maybe somebody needs to go listen to that. Whatever tomorrow brings, I'll be there. Whatever tomorrow brings, Virgo, just be there. Just be there. Be present. Be mindful to life. Be open. Be loving. Enjoy all the gifts that are coming to you the next month or two, you know, and into the new year. Be happy. All right, let's see. Okay. There's a better way, Virgo, that's going to make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, Virgo. Remember what I was saying a minute ago? If the freaking Jesus comes down and part, God comes down, Moses comes down, parts the damn Red Sea, and this person still doesn't get it, they're still not convinced no matter what, then you got to go. Okay. There is a better way that will make you happy. Do not plead. Do stop the begging. Stop the doormatting shit. Just if they don't get it, if they haven't gotten it, if they don't come 
to you with that light bulb over their head saying, I get it now. I'm so, oh, I'm so stupid. I should have known. I didn't understand. What can I do to make this better? If that doesn't come to you and you really feel in your gut that this person is really going to try and they're going to prove it and that's not coming to you, keep your feet in front of you, kiss my ass and keep walking. <laughs> Point blank period. There is no need to be hanging about. Because then you just, then you lose your self respect, Virgo. You have no respect. I tell you what, Tony, Tony Soprano, nobody disrespected Tony, you know what I'm saying? Va fango, va chakaloop. You gotta take, listen, if this person is not getting it, you gotta Tony Soprano their ass. I'm not saying anything criminal. I just mean you got to hold your vision, hold yourself together. <laughs> okay. Knight of Wands. This person's coming in passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. There's an event coming up here that's going to come to you in November that's going to require your immediate response or action. Trust your intuition and your instincts with this. Stay focused. There's a passionate relationship coming your way. That could be this person, but it could also be somebody new. You, for, for those of you who feel your person just is not seeing the light of day, or even if they do, they're not doing anything about it. Some of you are cutting them loose, you, or you already have cutting your losses. And you've got this passionate new beginning coming in. Somebody's coming towards you. Like that whole, oh, that passionate relationship that I can't get my hands off you. Can't stop touching you. Can't stop kissing you. Can't wait to see you again. Always together. That kind of thing. Somebody new. Fire energy. Could be somebody young. Youngish. Okay. Don't ever think. Listen, I say this all the time, Virgo. There's an ass for every seat. So don't you even sweat your pretty little selves about not going to have any other options. Give me a freaking break. Oh, you'll have options. There's plenty. There's plenty of lonely people out there. There's plenty of people in this world who are just looking for their other half. Virgo's out here trying to get love from the ones who just aren't capable. And then what's happening in, in turn, and the result of that is Virgo's losing their self-esteem and doing more damage to themselves, right? Reciprocal love, Virgo. That's what you want, reciprocity. If you're not getting it, I mean, come on. If you go to a store and you pay the butcher for a ham hock and he doesn't give it to you, get your money back and go to another store. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting silly. Let's do your charms. I'm getting silly and sassy. The frick is this thing? Guys, seriously, I can't even, I don't even know. Wait a minute. Is this? It just looks like a big chunk of. I'm gonna have to get a um a magnifying glass. Sorry. Okay. Well, what they're giving me here, which is bizarre, it looks like a Chinese dragon. You know those Chinese dragons, the parades. They have those Chinese dragons. It's an Oriental dragon. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know what that means for you or why they're giving me that, but that's significant to someone. Maybe somebody's born in the year of the dragon or you have those oriental dragons, a painting or something somewhere you have it drawn or something somewhere, or it's just significant to somebody for something. Don't think like the Chinese New Year is in February of next year. Maybe somebody's birthday is in February. 
We also have this beautiful swan. I feel like we got that the other day. Love yourself, Virgo. Look at this. The word love. You might have this tattooed somewhere or you have it somewhere around you or written down somewhere. But um, like I just see who you were before, Virgo. You know, the story of the swan and the ugly duckling. You may have felt about yourself that you weren't worthy of this person or that you weren't good enough because of their, in, insecu their insecurities, their inability to value and honor you um, may have caused you to feel like you weren't good enough for them. But I feel like if you've let this person go or you are like you are turning into this beautiful swan here. I don't feel like this person is watching you. I can tell you that. Uh, yesterday I felt like somebody was spying online, but I don't, I'm not picking that up right now because I feel like this person's gone within. They got some work to do. They're focused. They're like, oh shit, it's on now. This absence is different than before. Well, they gave me... Give me a lot of stuff. I'm actually a spirit. You know what? I know y'all want to talk. I'm just going to do one more. Okay. Well, they're just giving me a... All right. So we're going to take this seahorse. Okay. Somebody's having a, a sex change operation. <laughs> but we have this beautiful seahorse. Somebody's name starts with an S. Somebody has a tattoo of a seahorse. Maybe there's a birthmark. Um, this is a white seahorse. This is purity. Um, the seahorse is very spiritual. And the way they maneuver themselves, they, they stand upright. And they're very beautiful. I Somebody leave a comment, or if you don't mind, leave a comment or something in the chat about the spiritual meaning of the seahorse, if you don't mind. I would appreciate that, because I'm not really sure what that might mean. I'm not 100% sure, um, and I will have to look that up. But I do feel like somebody's name has an S in it. Okay, an S. And also there's a J, and I'm... I'm also picking up an E and an, the letter M. Wait, I just said get one more. Okay, so now we have a bat, a flying bat. Oh my gosh. Something happened around Halloween for some of you. October 31st, something happened, I feel. This bat, oh gosh, somebody's name has the word B-A-T in it. You know, the bats are blind. It's a saying, blind is a bat. And some of you need to know that your person, not all of you, but some of you, you have someone who's as blind as a freaking bat. And that's why some of those messages for you were, they're never going to get, they're never going to get it. They're never going to get it. And you just got to mosey on out that door and go find new love. Okay. And that, that's a strong message for some of you, okay? If there's, you know, you'll know, you'll know, right? If you're still waiting for them to get it together um, and you feel called to still just kind of stick it out, well, Virgo, what I have to say to that is if that's what's in your heart, if that's on your heart to keep doing that, um, that's okay. You can still have that on your heart, but you got to put yourself first as a priority while you're doing that. Okay. Because their timing to come in, if you sit around and just let your life waste away, um, you, you could be like in your eighties by the time they come in, right? You, you have to, you have the right to put a cap on things and it can change everything. If you're just like, you know what? I don't know what to do with this situation. I don't know whether to put it on the back burner or not. Just just put yourself first. You don't have to make a decision about anybody. That's what I'm trying to say. Stop worrying about what you should or shouldn't do with somebody. Just put you first. That's all you have to do. And when you're putting yourself first, that's where your focus is. And then you don't have to worry about tending or not tending to another person 
because you'd be too freaking busy with yourself. If you're not putting, if you're not busy with yourself and your own growth, you're always going to be focused elsewhere on other people, on this person. So when we say put them on the back burner, what we really mean is when you start focusing on yourself, they'll just go there by default and you don't have to worry about it. Then stress is gone. That's usually the problem is a lot of you are just like, well, I have myself first, but I'm also thinking about them. Well, you're not got yourself first enough. You got to do better. You got to try harder. Okay. So I'm also picking up this bat, something to do with baseball. Because of the bat, they just said baseball, bat. Um, <laughs> for some of you, all right. For some of you, maybe a small percentage, this person has some serious vampire energy and you need to like get out the garlic and you need to get the steak and you need to sleep with one eye open. Okay, that's just a very small message for some of you. I'm not going to say the big N word, but some of you are like, I know what you're talking about, Cal. I totally get it right there with you, sis. And let's keep it moving. Okay, so those were your messages. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm actually, I know that like this is the second time I've said The Sopranos. <laughs> my, my son and I have been watching and he's like in his mid 20s 26 we've been watching the sopranos like almost every night we just kind of hang out and do our sopranos thing and i've already seen it but we just start watching it again and it's just it's just i don't even know it's such a crucial movie you know what i mean i'm sure you guys have seen it but i'm just like nothing makes me realize more you know as a woman or should as a man what the difference between unhealthy and toxic relationships because those are two separate things an unhealthy relationship yeah we can have them sometimes but toxic eh. so i don't know if you've seen that net that show but if you haven't watched that some of you might get an eye opener into if you were involved with this vampire energy the blood sucker all right i'm going too long here so all right you guys so i hope you enjoyed those messages as usual i will be on this tomorrow evening for more of your drama <laughs> and again personal reading link is below the video please do click that and you can book your reading like same day if you need it okay and uh yep that's it i love you guys do hit like share and subscribe on your way out please don't forget support the channel greatly appreciate it and i will see you all tomorrow all right take care